Have you ever noticed that the memory card which your camera writes video and images to switches by itself without you doing anything? This is why. So I made this mistake again today and I wanted to make a quick video to talk about why it happens. So this isn't a big issue, but it's not something that happened when I was using Nikon. So when I switched to Canon, I was confused at first as to why it was happening. If you know about it, then it's not a problem. What the issue is, is when I took out my memory card to put videos or pictures on my computer, the next time I did it, I noticed that somehow they were on a different card. If I was saving to my SD card, and then the next time they would be in my CF card, and it would go back and forth, and I couldn't figure out why this was happening. Again, it didn't lose me any images, so it's not a problem, but it was just really confusing. The reason that this happens is because if you're recording images to only one card with you know, the other card set as overflow, for example, or also if you're recording video, which always only saves to one card, when you remove the SD card or the CF card, if you close the door, the camera will automatically reset what is your playback or your recording folder or card to the card that remains in the camera. And when you put your other card back into the camera again, it doesn't switch back automatically. If you're not aware of this, the next time you go to take out that same card, the images or the video won't be there. They'll be on the other card, which the camera automatically switched to before. If you don't close the door when you take out your memory card, this won't happen. So the way to avoid it is either just don't close the door, or if you do, then just make sure that you check your settings after and reset your record or playback folder to the card that you want your images or your video to be saved to. Again, this is not an issue if you're recording to both cards simultaneously, because either way you'll have the images on both cards, or if you're even recording uh, JPEGs to one card and RAW to the other, that won't be affected either because still you're recording images to both cards. So when you take one card out, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't record that type of image at that time. But once you put the card back in, everything's normal. Nothing changed. The issue is only when you're recording something to one card only, whether it's images or video. When you take that card out and you close the door, the camera thinks it has to record to the other card because that's the only one that's in there. So when you put it back in, I wish that Canon automatically switched back to the other card, but it doesn't. So again, it doesn't lose you any images. You're not going to lose your data, whatever. It just It's going to be confusing if you're trying to always remember which card you have to take out to unload your images or your video to your computer. So as I said before, this never happened to me with Nikon. So let me know what's your experience. This I'm using the 5D Mark IV and the 5D Mark III, and it happens the same way in both cameras. I'm curious, does that happen with other Canon cameras? I'm sure it does with dual card slots. Um, but how about people with Sony or Pentax or Fuji? Do you have any issues with this? Let me know in the comments below. And again, if you want to see more content from me, please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button down below. And as always, thank you for watching.